Hello everyone. Good morning. I'm Steve from You Can English Tutoring. In this video, I'm going to provide information on how to conclude your OET or IELTS letter correctly and effectively. When you write down a letter, either in the OET or the IELTS examination in a formal situation, the importance of writing the appropriate concluding section cannot be emphasized enough. There are several ways of concluding a letter in informal ways. However, as far as the formal letters in OET and IELTS examinations are concerned, you need to choose one of the acceptable formal phrases only depending on the addressee. Note that in IELTS examination, there are usually two different types of situations such as formal and informal, but in OET examination, you will have only the formal situation. All right, let's know what would be the formal situations. Well, we have got two kinds of phrases as far as the formal situations in OET and IELTS examination are concerned. One is yours sincerely and the other is yours faithfully. Some students find it hard to remember which one should be used in formal situations of the OET and IELTS examinations, but understanding the reason behind it makes it easier and you will never forget it. So if you know the reason why we are using a particular phrase to conclude a letter, you will not forget at all. Let's go through these phrases one by one. Firstly, let's go to yours sincerely. All right. In this case, what do you need to do? Well, if you know the addressee or the recipient of the letter already, then using yours faithfully is the ideal way to conclude a letter. Okay, whether it is an OET letter or an IELTS letter, you have to conclude the letter using yours sincerely if you know the addressee or the recipient of the letter. In other words, if you know the last name of the recipient of the letter, you should use yours sincerely. Let me give you a couple of examples. Look at this. If the name of the address is given as Dr. James or Mrs. Miss Maria, then we need to conclude the letter using yours sincerely. So when you go to the writing task section, you should be able to see the address's name. So when you go down to the writing task section of the case notes in OET letter, you should be able to see the name of the addressee if it is given, okay? In that case, you have to start writing yours sincerely in the concluding section. Remember that in the above situations, when we provide the salutation of the addressee in the beginning of the letters, we might have used it, dear Dr. James or dear Miss Maria, respectively. Okay, so you already knew these people, all right? You already knew um, James and Maria. So when you know a person, you can show sincerity to him or her. And that's the main reason why we have to use yours sincerely in the concluding section. So you know the person already and you are very sincere to him or her. That is why we are using yours sincerely in the concluding section. All right, let's go to yours faithfully. Why? we should use yours faithfully in a formal situation and when. Okay, if you don't know the addressee or the recipient of the letter, using yours faithfully is the ideal way to conclude a letter. In other words, if you know only the designation of the recipient of the letter and the recipient's name, okay, and not the recipient's name, and not the recipient's name, sorry, then use yours faithfully. Okay, If you know only the designation and not the recipient's name, then use yours faithfully. For example, look at this. If the name of the address is not given, but only the designation is provided as, for example, physiotherapist or doctor, then we need to conclude this letter using yours faithfully only. Okay, remember that in the above situations, when we provide salutation of the addressee in the beginning of the letters, we might have used dear physiotherapist, comma, or dear doctor, respectively, comma, respectively, okay? When you do not know a person, you cannot show sincerity to him or her, isn't it? That is common, right? And only we can have faith in him or her. 
So we can only have we can only have faith in them. That's it. All right. That is why we need to use yours faithfully in the concluding section. I hope you understand the well reasoned conclusion as far as the IELTS and OET letters are concerned. Remember that in OET letters, the address designation is preferred for healthcare letters instead of writing dear sir or madam. So this means when you have to write down the salutation, it is better to write down dear physiotherapist comma or dear doctor comma or dear nurse comma and so on. One more thing many students commit mistake is not writing yes at the end of yours. They, they write down you were faithfully or they write down you were and then they use apostrophe on top of that. But they are incorrect. You should not write down you were with, with an apostrophe between R and S or after S. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you would like to get regular notification on useful tips like this on my YouTube channel that can also be used as a self-preparation tool to ace your OET, IELTS and PT examination, may request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon that is located on the right hand side of the subscription button. Also, please feel free to like my videos if you find them helpful, share with your friends, relatives and colleagues and leave comments to improve the quality of my videos. I, I understand that you have been working really harder to make your goals achievable and I hope my videos would be of great help for you to understand the assessment criteria of the examination, your weak areas, and using the techniques that I'm going to explain, you should be able to pass your examination in one attempt itself. I've been helping more than 12,000 students since 2008 in IELTS, OET, and PT academic examination. If you would like to get your first letter assessed at free of cost, please send it to me with, it case, with its case notes at steve at youcanenglishtutoring.com. You can also reach me on my mobile or WhatsApp number that is plus 61468480877. I thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.